Hey, welcome back, Buckeye Nation, to your Caribou Data Science channel. Today is, well, it's, it's, it's a Sunday, August the 8th, 2021, which means that in addition to the weekly reports, you also get the final month in numbers for the, for the month of July of 2021. Of course, before we get started, a reminder that, uh, before we get started, uh, you know, of course, don't forget to click that subscribe button. And of course, I almost forgot, a big shout out to the eight people who watched this video yesterday. I appreciate every one of you folks who did watch this video yesterday. Because, it's, because like I said, so you get a special treat today. Uh, in addition to the daily report, you also get to see the weekend numbers. And you also get to see the COVID-19 vaccine report for the state of Ohio. Of course, before we get started, this is a subtle reminder that uh, back in February 2021 of this year, the governor's office came out and, and, and said that that COVID-19 deaths have been undercounted by close to 4,000 in the fourth quarter last year. But the governor's office also decided, rather than going back and correcting those numbers, they decided just to add them on to 11th, 12th, and 13th. Okay? So let's start with the vaccine roll again. Let's see something here. No idea why that's there. That's what it is. Okay. Okay. Actually, this isn't actually this isn't John Hopkins University. Okay, what you can see is, is uh, the state of Ohio has administered twenty two point two seven million doses with uh, fifty eight thousand people receiving. Uh, the first dose, and 49.9 thousand, was 50, almost 50, not thousand, million, no, I'm sorry, almost 5 million have received the full doses. Okay. That includes a brief report for the state of Ohio for COVID-19 vaccine. Now let's take a look at the uh, COVID-19 numbers themselves. As well as the, I'll remind you that deaths are the most important number. Okay, so don't be misled. I talk about increasing cases or increased in hospital bed uses. Focus on the deaths. Okay. Now, the, 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 this is the effect that the governor's office had when he added the, 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 when he when he added three numbers, for close to four thousand numbers onto on the eleventh, twelfth, and thirteenth. I replaced these numbers here with the average number of deaths per day. And now these three. Now, now these three numbers look like S, and this may be a little low because you can well, you can see, to a certain extent, it doesn't really, it's not really that far off, I don't think, okay? But of course, on top of these numbers here, we're gonna put a seven day moving average. The first, this is the raw numbers for deaths. You've got a massive spike here, a massive negative number there. You can see that, uh, well, minus 598, the maximum 752, deaths, okay, for a single day. And this is what those numbers look like. You can see beginning on December 1st, we began to see a decline in daily in a case in deaths. Again, each one of these points on this line is the, seven, is the average number of deaths for the previous seven days, okay? But you can see the pattern, the downward trend in, in deaths in Ohio is continuing. These are raw cases. Summary statistics. Now you can see the raw deaths here. We are seeing, starting with like July 1st, we are seeing an, an increase in COVID-19 cases in the state of Ohio. Okay, but if we believe if we believe the reports and people who say the COVID-19 vaccine doesn't keep you from getting cases, it only keeps you from Die, it reduces the chance, the vaccine reduces your chance of dying. It doesn't keep you back, protect you from actually getting a case. Okay? That means, if that's true, then that means this number here can go up, but deaths can continue to decline as a result of the COVID 19 vaccine. Okay? So that's a very brief report for Ohio. Again, a big shout out to the uh, eight people who viewed this video yesterday. Thanks so much. Before I let you go, hey, don't forget to click on the, click on the subscribe button the like button, and most important of all, click on the share button 
share this report on Facebook and Twitter today. You can also copy and paste the link to the video into an email and text message and share that with your friends and family today. Thanks so much, Buckeye Nation. We'll catch you tomorrow with an updated report.